hot water. So water standing over there. Yep. Where is that coming from? Probably the, the rain from last night and probably a little seepage from the plugs that aren't holding tight. Except that that water's been over there for over a week. Standing. I've got video. So why don't you just raise that parking lot and then it would be flowing into the um, lawn and it would be evaporated. I mean, you know... So you're asking the wrong person now. We can suggest it. Yeah, but they don't have so freedom of speech. Like we tried to think that we do. You think? No. no. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. No, we pulled all our pumps out. They figured if this is going to flood, they were going to let it go. What? This, if this area is going to flood? Did you pull the pumps out? Yesterday. Where at? Here? Right here in the parking lot. That's why they both did berm here. Keep all the water in here, they both were Well, how is that gonna, are they, are they gonna build it up higher because people threw it over it? Well, I see it. I know. <laughs> are they gonna build it up higher? I don't know. And, and, and why, why didn't they just build it around those two houses? Yeah. See, once again. You're asking the wrong person. Right, right. I Who gives you your orders? How about that? Rick Hansen. Oh, well, there you go. Ellis Boulevard. It looks like the whole boulevard is flooded. It is flooded. You want to walk towards it? I'm on 15 trying to reach them. So they broke the cables or something going on? Broke cables in which place? This one? The one across from the Brown across from the same house. Oh, it's almost hitting this one with a tie Yeah, it goes way to the left and it goes way to the right. I know they are. I got a lot of bug spray if we ever Oh! Oh my gosh, you're right. I see how it's yeah. floating back and forth. Yeah, it must have got really drastic the way she did that. Well, yeah, the, the air conditioner is going to put a hole in Steve's new, new place there. It's going to be moving that much. No, my gosh. Did you call Steve or the guy with the... <gasps> well, I'm trying to get a hold of... Uh, I think they're both moving, aren't they? I don't have those guys in comfort so. I don't see the tie back one, maybe. Lord. Oh, I see. Look at the air conditioner on the outside of the brown one. Uh -huh. That is frightening. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, but... Okay, so how high can they float? They say about three more feet we're going to get. So how high can the boat float? Uh, oh, really? Hi, Lori. This is Danny down the harbor. No, not Okay. Uh, 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 Tammy and Jody's boat is almost hitting Steve's. Uh, it goes all the way to the left, then it goes all the way to the right. And I don't know if it's because she got her pontoon still hooked up, you know, sideways. Uh, I think, I think something. They have enough give that if it rises three feet, then it won't get flooded. Yeah, they won't get flooded inside if they get pulled down. Oh. Okay. That. Okay, okay, yeah. I was just wondering because that, yeah. It looks like that air conditioner might poke a hole in Steve's new siding. It is frightening. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted to call them or... I don't... I don't... You just did? Oh, okay. I know, no kidding. But isn't this one of the places they close so that you can't, because oh, you yeah. can't get oh, up yeah. in, in there? In 2008, yeah. Yep. We haven't had that bad. In 93, did they? We wasn't here. Though. We come down in 94, I think it was. 93. Well, are you still on Yes, I am. This is uh, my wife, Carrie. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Blake? Blake, sorry. Yeah. How's your house doing right now? It's doing great. No water in the basement or anything. Really? I worry more for the people on 8th Street. 
you know, it's sad, but... So where about are you at then? First it's the only house on First Street. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think I'd like to do that. I, mean, uh, at, I fought the city the whole time. <laughs> I fought them tooth and nail, and I'm going to keep on fighting them until... Until I can't fight them anymore, until there's no breath in my body. That's the problem. That's, not that's like down the here. Let's let just say, I, yeah. I, I think it's right around 200 families. But don't you think if 200 families walked into City Hall when they're having a meeting and say, we want to speak? Anyway, everybody knows the situation with the city thing. It's, just it's horrible. Really? Yeah. I got some friends down here that had a house in the area and the boat house. Like that, that we boat. parked like, like uh, maybe a block or two. We, we, then, we thought we were bad. bad like, at least we were still here. Yeah. Yeah. What? And that's, you know, kind of how I feel down that they were, they, the city wanted us to take a $66,000 loss. Really? I'm so sorry, but uh, can't do that. we're not doing that. We're going to rebuild our riverfront home. Yeah, we were told that all you people that wanted to sell out were getting the goddamn good money. <laughs> Someone like yeah, you're getting all the like, double your amount? Not only did we not get any money, but people were forced to pay their FEMA money back through the buyout acquisition. So if they got money from the buyout, they were forced to pay it back. It, well, and not only that. There, anybody that has said that we made out like fat rats down there are liars. Yeah. And we kind of figured it yep. wasn't the truth. I did. Yeah. And that's when he was like, oh, they can just drive up and around the dirt thing. And I'm like, you're sure I'm just going to get saturated eventually. So here's from the city. I'll and go ahead and give them, give them hell. So you're not allowed you know, there. Get out of there. <laughs> See, in in uh, 08, we, were, we had guns drawn on us down here. Really? Yes, ma'am. We snuck down the road. Jim, Jim's, our neighbor's boat, we were way up to that fire hydrant. Put his uh, run about, or, uh, fish boat in there. We come down here, that's one of his more houses. We, we had real big ropes going around all the old telephone poles. We, we circled six fun? houses and saved them. Um, we held them down. But they still broke loose. And before the telephone poles, the houses were hitting the, hitting the high lines up here. That's how right. Ours broke loose and ended up here and what we shoved it back. A lot of people weren't allowed to put their boats back in. All they had, all they had to do was get a bunch of guys and a bunch of beers and just <laughs> shove them in there. And they could have sold them right down the hill like a sled. And the guy that owned the they house, weren't, they weren't allowed to do that. In that spot right there in 2008, he works for the city. Yeah. He was going to bring his stuff out, you know, they're going to put it back. I think it's a walking step in that place. You're fired. Oh. When he told us that, we said, Glenn, give us permission. We're going to take your stuff out. They can't stop us from going in there. They yep. can't fire you. See, that's what I don't like. Something's going on with this city because I know a lot of guys that work for the city. And they're told that they're not allowed to speak. They're, they have no freedom of speech. That's bullshit. That's communism. That is communism. It's been communism for years. I we know. Gotta, I can't handle it.